Hello everyone. Welcome to Diesel's Cajun Kitchen. I'm going to prepare uh, today, I'm going to do the uh, crawfish etouffee that I had made a while back, just took pictures of. But uh, what I'm going to start out with is in my black iron pot, of course you see right here, have it on the stove. I put a uh, one and a half stick of uh, margarine butter in there and I have uh, two thirds cup of flour. I'm gonna put it in there and I'm gonna kind of make a little roux with it. And uh, I'm not gonna, uh, the roux's not gonna be really dark. It's gonna be kind of a little light roux, but it's gonna be with butter. And with the butter, it gives it a good flavor. Then I have uh, three quarter, uh, three tablespoons of uh, the gourmet. So we're gonna make the etouffee today with the gourmet. And then we have a little special treat that we're gonna do with the etouffee. Uh, it came from my sister-in-law. We're gonna go ahead and start with our roux right now. Throw that in there, come so. As you can see, I'm filming by myself, so I may make a few mistakes, but y'all bear with me. This is the butter I have for the flour. Just gotta kinda keep stirring it around. Come saw. We'll let that just cook like that for a little while. And um, we're using the gourmet today. I like to change up. I use the gourmet, I use the Cajun. Okay, so I'm stirring in my pot here. And uh, what it did was, I added about a, a tablespoon of uh, olive oil. Um, it was it was looking a little too pasty for me, so I always add a, a, a tablespoon of olive oil too with it, and just kind of get it mixed up like that, and just let it continue uh, browning. And it's only about a medium far uh, if you have an electric stove. Um, and I just kind of just, just kind of keep moving it around like that. Mm -hmm. I have one pound of crawfish tails that are peeled, and uh, one head of onions and then chopped up so I don't cry today. And uh, bell peppers in there. Okay, what I normally do is when I can start smelling my flour, start getting into that roux stage. You can kind of smell it, it wants to smell like it's uh, wanting to burn a little bit. At that point in time, that's when I'll go ahead and uh, I'll just keep moving around pretty much, pretty quickly. And you'll see it start thinning out a little bit. And uh, that's when it's almost time for me to throw my onions in there. And when I'm gonna throw my onions in there, it's gonna cool the roux off where it's gonna stop cooking. Cut. See, it kind of almost looks like a light peanut butter. That's how I normally have my roux for my uh, for my etouffee, just like that. And people do etouffee differently, you know. You may have some people uh, like etouffee um, with a uh, little tail in it. You know, everybody just does it a little bit different. Um, but it's all about the flavor and the taste, what seasoning you use, and uh, if you have Louisiana crawfish. Okay, here we go. Time to throw them zonions in there. Alright. It's going to start getting kind of pasty. If you can see it there. See how hot that roux is? Yeah. So I'm just gonna kinda blend all this together real good. But uh, I need to use both of my hands. Got it all mixed up right there. So what I'm gonna do now, and I'm gonna add my seasoning to it. This is the gourmet. The gourmet seasoning. I cook it different one, gourmet or the Cajun. I'm going to stir all this up real good so we can uh, let it cook and I'm thinking to add some water to it or start making a gravy. 
and kind of get all this uh, fixed up in there. It's going to blend it together. I added about a cup and a half of water to it. You can see how it's kind of starting to loosen up a little bit. But I'll probably put a little more water in it. I could probably put another, another half a cup in there. That'd be good. And always have my water heating. So that way I don't add cold water to my, uh, to my meal that I'm cooking. Because yeah, cold water till it cools it back off and it stops the cooking process. So I always try to keep my water, you know, not boiling, but keep it warm. Um, and let it just blend all together right here. And we'll um, see how it's all to get kind of the, it's pasty, but it's still fluid. And we'll uh, add the crawfish in about 35, 40 minutes. Let it, then there'll be, let it, the crawfish cook for about 25, 30 minutes. Absorb all that seasoning and taste and everything else. And we should be good to go. Y'all stay tuned. We'll be right back. Crawfish etouffee. But you can see the consistency I'm starting to get with it. I just add the water accordingly. You know, it's uh, kind of hard to say. You could just put two cups in there and let it rip. But um, what I normally do is just kind of judge it. Start out with a cup. Put a half a cup. And just continue moving it around and leave it on about a medium to low fire. And uh, you want to try to keep your consistency in there. You don't want to get it too watery. See, like right here, I need to thicken up just a little bit more before I add my crawfish in. And uh, but uh, it's just a matter of just continue watching it, stirring it a little bit. Don't let it stick because it's going to scorch on the bottom and it's not going to be. It's not gonna taste good. As you know, these are Louisiana bread, raised, cooked, and cleaned in Louisiana. Should I say Southwest Louisiana or South Central Louisiana? So, take a little gander at them little mud bugs. They're fixing to go for their last swim right here. So, we're gonna put them in there and I'm gonna mix them up real good. And just let it cook down. And then uh, we'll uh, pass that over some rice. Let me tell you something. Ciao, bonjour. It's going to be good. So I wish we had smell a vision. <laughs> that way everybody can smell it when I'm cooking. Because it really smells good in here. It really does. Then when I make these pecan pies right here, I guess you call it pecan pies or pecan pies. Depending on, uh, I guess, what part of the country you're in. But uh, the uh, Cajun people call it pecans down here. Uh, any pronunciation that you want to say is fine. But uh, no matter how you slice it, it's always good. Cut. All right. So my crawfish been simmering about 25, 30 minutes. But you can see that it's uh, oh, the consistency is there. I put my spoon in there and it just kind of starts to roll off, just slide down the spoon. That's the consistency you want with the uh, the etouffee. See how it just kind of oozes down into the spoon? That's what I look for. Everybody else is a little different. You know, uh, you may have these top chefs, you know, that um, do something differently. But uh, for this occasion, cooker right here. This is how I judge it. And uh, I don't like to brag on myself, but you know what? I tasted it and uh, P. Jack, let me tell you something. It's good. And then after everything cools off, I'm gonna show y'all what we're gonna do with the crawfish etouffee. flour right here but I'm told not to use it uh, th okay this is the uh, egg roll wrap so what I'm gonna do so bear with me 
I'm gonna try something like this. Come so. Let it heaping. Kind of spread it maybe like that, I guess. That's the first time I do this. So let me watch how to do that. Baby, come so. Kind of maybe tuck and roll, baby. And then do you roll it? So I have to kind of. <laughs> okay, my wife is fanning me. She's like telling me to flip. And I think we have to tuck somewhere. Do we have to tuck a little bit, maybe? I'm not sure. Do we continue rolling or we have to flip? No. Huh? Flap these sides in. Come so. Oh boy, look at there. This is gonna be a little one. Let me get that thing straight if I can. Okay. Come so. Just like that. And then look. Here's where the lid. Oh, uh, just the lid trick. Come so. That's the glue. Is that enough glue? No, oh, let me uh, let me get it straight like that. Come so, flatten that thing out like that. How's that? Time. It only took me like three minutes and forty-seven seconds and three tenths. So we're gonna see. It don't look pretty, but it smells good. It's better than a tar. Hey, this is the scary part right here. It's uh, put them in there, come soft, because uh, that grease, it bites you. Oh, get off the edge of the pot, dude. There you go. I know the kids are going to be so excited tomorrow to eat some egg rolls. My sister-in-law made these, and the first time they came over here, they ate them. They were like, we love these egg rolls that Aunt Donna made for them. But uh, for Pop's making these, so I hope I can do as good as Aunt Donna. We're going to find out. Crawfish, egg rolls, Cajun style. Look at that. The grease is about 325, 330 degrees right now. Doing really good. The Cajun egg roll. Crawfish egg toothpaste. One's already done. Hope they come out good. It's pretty crispy. Hmm? Almost done here. Let's see. That's what I think. This one here. Pick me out. Pick me out. You hear it howling? Coming out, baby. Look at that. Can you smell it? Crawfish egg roll. Oh yeah. Yeah, the crawfish egg you face already cooked inside, so it's just a matter of cooking the um the uh, egg roll. If y'all want to order some of our products, you can go on uh, Etsy.com. We have some videos on uh, YouTube also, cooking videos. So uh, we appreciate everyone's support. Thank y'all very much. And if uh, I don't get to see y'all, Merry Christmas. But more than likely tomorrow we'll be on film again.